Hi everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo and today we will be taking a look at five hidden but helpful features or tricks that you're able to do on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Now this first one is what happens if you're to get a notification. So maybe you get a text message, a phone call, an email, whatever it may be. If you get that notification popping up, if you swipe down with that little pop-up notification, it'll bring it up as a little pop-up. Now another thing you're able to do with notifications, so if you get that little notification pop-up right up over there, you'd be able to press and hold. And as you press and hold on it, now you're able to choose what you want it to do. Do you want it to be that pop-up screen or do you wanna go directly into a split screen with another application? So it's actually pretty cool. Most people didn't know this second portion of this little notification, but here, now you do. This is just a little hidden trick that you're able to do with little pop-up notifications. Helpful feature number two that you probably didn't know about is when you open up your phone keypad right here, you might be opening up maybe Maybe the recents or maybe your contacts pops up or maybe the only thing you want to pop up is the keypad anytime that you tap on that little green phone icon. So what I mean by this is on the very top right hand side when you're inside of the keypad if you tap up there and you go to open last viewed that means if I go inside of recents I get out of it completely close out of it open this back up, now it's back inside of Recents, and then you have to head back over into Keypad. Uh, or maybe you went inside of your contacts, you scrolled through a little bit, and then you closed out of it. Sometime later in that day, you opened it back up, it went back to your contacts, but you don't wanna have that extra step of it going back to the Keypad with, me, with you tapping that little option on the bottom. So you'd be able to take a look up here. You can open it in Keypad only. So every single time that you open up your phone application, it's always gonna go inside of the Keypad. So here we are in Recents, I'm gonna close this one out and it's gonna open up again back in keypad. So depending on what you want it to do, you are able to go to the very top with those three little dots and you can change it to either last viewed, uh, whatever you had it as opened, or it'll go directly into the keypad. Again, something that maybe you didn't know was there, but you can simply change it inside of those three little dots. Helpful feature number three is called pin windows. So pin windows, I originally talked about this several years ago, multiple times, and a lot of times it was for the use case of maybe a child or someone else younger using your phone so they wouldn't get out of the application, going through the phone, deleting contacts or reading text messages or deleting images whatever the case may be and you're able to get it pinned to the window or pinned to your phone so this way you cannot get out of it now another reason that I found this to be helpful here with me as an adult is I'm able to always go back to this application right here so let's say that I'm using this application maybe I'm watching a video here's the thing first off for a child they cannot go back I'm trying to use the whole back button um, I'm also trying to head back to the home so they, they, they basically just can't get out of this application even if you hit that little power button and then bring it back you're gonna be right back inside of the application now for me as an adult this is what I use it for if I'm cooking or if I'm doing something that I'm walking away from the phone or I'm putting it in my pocket whatever the case may be if I don't want to get in and out and refine it and do whatever uh, I just hit the power button keep it on the counter, put it in my pocket. And then the second I come right on back, it's gonna be sitting there. So I don't have to unlock my phone or you do the fingerprint or face unlock and then reopen the application again or whatever the case, it's just sitting right here for me. So pin windows is used as an adult, maybe for this case right here. You cannot get out of it, but the biggest issue here is that maybe I just wanna come right back to it in just a couple seconds without unlocking the phone, without doing whatever, without reopening it, and I can resume exactly what I was doing. But it also help against if you have kids, if they're younger, you don't want them to get out of whatever application you want them in. Maybe if it's ABC Mouse, if it's YouTube, if it's YouTube Kids, whatever it may be, uh, how you do get out of it, for me anyways, is I have to swipe up and hold and then it takes me back to my lock screen and then I can unlock it and do whatever. So how you're able to turn on pin windows or basically have pin windows be an option right here, you just wanna go inside of your settings and search for pin windows. It's very, very simple. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside settings. I'm going to go to search and you just type in pin windows. So usually when you type in the word pin, you're going to see it right here. It's underneath security and privacy. Uh, you can go inside, you can read about it. Uh, so it's going to be right over here. You go inside of pin windows. This is how you can read about it. Uh, you can also have ask for pin before unpinning. So when I basically swiped up and held it, it would then ask me for a pin to unlock it. So if you have someone who is old enough to know and they can read the screen, uh, then this way, 
Uh, hopefully they don't know your pin and then they're not able to still again get all the way through your phone So this is how you're able to turn it on and off. So here we go I turned it off if I was to go back inside of YouTube pin windows is not there if I go back inside of the settings I turn this on I go right on back and now I can pin this application to my phone again So then this way nobody is able to get out of it uh, again kids or even adults uh, it's pretty nice. I find it handy to, again, resume right back exactly what I was doing just by hitting the power button. Helpful feature number four is a way that you're able to use split screen by using little gestures, but also getting rid of the top, which means that whatever application is on the top will be just a little bit larger. So for example, let's say that we're inside of Twitter. So I'm, I'm scrolling through Twitter, taking a look at a few things, whatever. Uh, now, if I was to swipe up with two fingers, it's going to pull up the option for me to open up another application. So I'm just going to open up the, cal the, the calculator just for fun. So here we go. We have two applications running on the very, very top up there. You can notice that there is no date, no time, no battery percentage, no nothing. And it's just making sure that you have the full use of the entire screen, you know, with that. So if you do swipe down, now you can see it. And that is how much you can see that overlay kind of overlaying my image and this little icon right here. So you can see how much it would actually take away from it. Now, if you wanted to see another example of it, let's say we go inside of the settings. So here we go. We have the settings on the top. So this is how you're able to turn it on. This is how you're able to turn it off, but it's also a way for me to show the example. So you want to go inside of the settings. You're going to go inside of the advanced feature. Features. Now inside of advanced features, you go inside of labs. Now inside of labs, you can see it right here, full screen and split screen view. So when I turn it off, here we go. You can see how much it is moving with it having it, you know, basically on and off. You have that entire bar on the top that, you know, you can now turn it off or you can basically turn this one on. So this way you're turning off that bar on the top to give you more real estate on that top application. And then helpful feature number five is let's say you're inside of the camera, it goes directly into photo and you do know the fact that you are able to press and hold with inside of photo to start recording. Now, as it's starting to record, maybe you notice that this thing is taking longer or maybe it's a really cool situation. You just swipe up and it's locked. It actually switches it into the recording mode. So it actually goes into video mode because if you take a look at it, it is literally now as if you moved it into video mode as you already started it, which is pretty cool because here's that camera shutter button that is normally there in the video mode of the camera. There's your pause, the stop, the rotate, there's your time, flash, and then all of your zooms. So it looks just like as if you were to move over into video and you hit record, it's going to look pretty much the exact same. Uh, and then you can change, you know, your, your zoom and stuff like that. If you press and hold and zoom in, zoom out, all that good stuff. Um, but pretty, pretty cool that you are now able to do it directly from photos. Uh, and, and if you press and hold, you lock it up. And there you go. And you're still recording without having to hold it. And now you're again taking the advantage of being in photo mode, but really ending taking a whole video. But that is everything that I wanted to show you in today's video. That is five helpful hidden little tricks and features that is inside of your Samsung Galaxy devices. Hopefully you guys appreciated the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.